Hi guys, welcome to my freshly installed system. It's the ISO 21036. It's an XFCE, it's a flagship, and the topic of the video is something we're gonna research together. I wanna know more about kernels, Arch Wiki kernel. Now, I just made a video about the uh, kernel TKJ BMQ. Right, so let's have a look. So you read all that's to read up here. And the TKJ is here. An ex custom Linux kernel with specific PDS, Project C, Scheduler. So that's the line I'm reading here, TKJ. And it's unofficial on the Celtic AOR. So that's where we found it. That's where, uh, how we installed it via your uh, tweet tool. It's easy to just say, go and activate the Celtic AOR. Super simple. And that's just a pseudo pacman minus S away and it's installed. Now, before we do that, we need to know more about our CPUs. If you go to the AUR, uh, we could go maybe to this link and then maybe through that link. Yep, that's possible. And then we are here. Still not where we need to be, but maybe we get a link somewhere. But basically, it's a lot of kernels that are on that particular AWAR. Okay, but I need to know, I need to know, if we're going to activate it, and maybe it's simpler, I just do that, like here, just activate your Kaltex repo, and then Ctrl T, pseudo pacman minus S, YYU, or your general update, right? That I've been on Arch Linux a while, so I'm typing now the full thing. Then we have uh, an update system, fine. But now, when we have a look, there's an extra line there. There's a line of chaotic AOR. So, pseudo pacman minus S something, Linux something. Let's make this bigger. Tap, tap. 299 kernels to install, oh my god, right? I need to know what particular name is interesting for me. So the Broadwell and the Cannon Lake, those are probably gonna be names you recognize as gonna be in a uh, name from a CPU. Question is, what CPU do I have, right? That's the question we may, uh, we think now, hey, what should I do? Let's close that up again and take a Google Chrome or Chrome, you better. So, Linux name CPU. Can we find out nine useful commands to get the CPU information on Linux? Tech Mint, right? Tech Mint, maybe you think of Linux Mint. I always tell you look just out of your box, it doesn't matter really. Okay, so I'll move this on one over here. So we're actually going to investigate our information. Do we get some way, is there some way of knowing what particular kernel is best for me to take? All right, set cat, and uh, that's the first one. They say here, proc. So in the processes, go and have a look at the information that's available there. And let's have a look. We have a genuine Intel, Intel Core, i7, and so on. Processor six, I have eight cores, so it thinks I have six. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't have six CPUs. I would like to have six CPUs. I have eight cores, I mean, and not eight CPUs. But the name, the name, is there some reference as to a name somewhere? I don't see one in particular. But I see some flags, so the things that are possible with it. But still no name. If I would like to choose a kernel, I need to know what to choose really. Okay, so that's one thing. Scrolling down. LS CPU. Okay, LS CPU gives us this. There is no name, General Intel, Intel. KVM, mitigation, all that, but 
don't see yet a really recognizable name. All right, next up, LSCPU, CPU ID command, CPU ID command. Now, some of the things we go for yay, right? I immediately have the reflex, just go and have a look. Is this particular application available? And it is, Linux tool to dump information about CPU. Okay, number two, I'll build it. Oh, password. CPU. All right. Here I see a name, Skylake, Intel Cavi Lake. Anything like that, Skylake, Cavi Lake, somewhere. I see already a nice lake. <laughs> Here is Sky Lake. So then I have to, to think about the CFS. What's CFS? What's BMQ? Uh, what else? What else? What else? Sky Lake here as well. Heathers as well. And there's something with an X. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's that about? So Intel Cabby Lake or Sky Lake. Let's see how I find Cabby Lake somewhere. I don't think so. So it's gonna be the Skylake one. But nevertheless, let's check. An easy way to check as well is actually, um, can we do that? We can do that if we type, if I type this, I wonder if I can. Don't think so, really. Now I was just thinking, make some kind of list or something and go and have a look in there. But I do believe we have already enough information to choose. But what does this website says more? It says also you have, and that's something we have as well, DM decode. It's an application that's on your system. I guess I need to ask him what. So give me the type of processor, please. Uh, permission denied, fine. Let's do a pseudo. Oh, it helps, always helps. So, any information in here? Yeah, lots of info. Not really a name to give me a clue. So the Sky Lake thing is still the best one. Or CPU ID there. So, oops, it's gone. So CPU ID was for me still the best one. Near to the bottom, UR synth Intel Cabin Lake Sky Lake. Okay. Number five, Inksy tools. Yes, we know Inksy, of course. Is Inksy providing anything about a name? Not sure, really. We use Inksy all the time. Capital C, they say. Quad core, Intel core, and all that. It's all interesting, but no reference to a name. Okay, LS hardware, what's that? So now, give me LS hardware, and then minus C, the CPU. What do we get then? All right, not really a name. Don't see any name there. Okay, still Skylake then. Hard info, of course, hard info. We've got that as well. So this little guy, we like to use it because it's graphical, of course. But does it provide a name? Because that's what I'm looking for now in order to choose my CPU. So hard info, interesting as well. Hardware info, I believe that we don't just do that. Oh, no, probably another video. So general Intel, fine model is there, but no name calling. So there's no reference to a name. Not at the beginning either. Don't see it, okay. HW info, NPROC. Yeah, we've used NPROC before. 
in our scripts with eight processors. That's how we created the command in the first place to get all our cores to work. And there are some more references on this page here. Check out CPU stat core frequency and so on. But we did find what we want, more or less. We want to have a Skylake one, I guess. So the Cabby Lake, this Cabby Lake Skylake one. So sudo pacman minus s Linux. And then, yes, it's going to be the TTKG. So we have less of choices. 256 is not that less. Huh? But then it's something else, though. So we have the TKJ BMQ thing. And we need to find out what is the difference between BMQ and CFS. So let's give him a hint. <laughs> it's about kernels, my friend. TKJ and then CFS. And then we have one more. MUQSS. Go ahead. So we get some information from Reddit, it seems here. Five games, community, stock CFS, version this one, family, and TKJ. So it's all about how the CPU handles schedulers, specific CPU schedules related patch sets. And here's a benchmark, Linux performance, openbenchmarking.org. Flightless Mango, I've uh, visited that as well. Looks quite, uh, well, stock market-like. Market stock market -like. But it seems to want to share us the information. Okay, this is what happens with frames per second, frame time. If you have the CFS, you get this tweaked, MUQS, PDS, and sometimes it's mentioned. Here it is, more is better. So is this the blue one that you prefer? Is this the green one you prefer? And so on, frame time is here and some advertising as well sorry for that but here's some information that you can extract and use to decide or just test it yourself right to decide what you want so here's some names bitmap q i'm certainly not a, a uh, ex expert in all these kernels but we just read and within within time we'll become experts right so bitmap q is the newest linux cpu scheduler inspired by google Silicon. while there is uh, a list out of the three promising cpu scheduler for linux free it is not alone another option is the pds scheduler while now in its author then this one has announced that etc etc and you keep on reading so it's all about making decisions and gaming i suppose testing out if it's gonna do the things you think it's gonna do so this is my first time i ever gonna install this little guy i know now i need to i can take the general one so this guy or i can take one that's focused on my machine and then i probably should take this one so the sky like uh, sky lake sorry sky lake and off it goes installing that one and i can get headers if i want to okay fatal problems so chaotic cx is there's something wrong with our uh, package whatever so sudo pack on minus s no 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 take yay and then chaotic mirror list let's have a look what comes out of it so we have our own here that's our version and there's a version on chaotic aor which we've enabled and that's 0205 ours is 0208 so ours should be good well i'm gonna reinstall the one from aor and um, we'll see later why that's doing it but this will not work so i still doesn't know where he's going to find all this stuff so i'm gonna tell him go grab the new database new database is in and now he's going to find it not okay fine let's do a again let's take ours from now on or maybe number two from them let's see if that works 
Now, there is something definitely wrong with their mirrors. They're all failing. Their mirrors. And ours is this one. Let's first update. So we get the database in. So that's working. At least the database comes in, but we need the packages, of course. Let's see if that works. So this is our one, our uh, package. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with our mirrors, but um, now we've used the repo third party, ours, Celtic mirror list of 2021-0208. We just reinstalled it. Anyway. It's building, right? It's building. Now, if I reboot, and if this guy is not the first one to boot up again, I'll take my, yes, of course, my grub customizer. There's no easier way to go and have a look and tell this guy to be the very, very first one. So I'll do that immediately right now. So that's done, but I am going to wait till this guy, of course, does his job. And there we go. So it's uh, created. I'm going to save this now as well. Stop the video, reboot, and I'll be on my new Linux kernel.